Shalom, I'm Dan Juster, speaking to you from Restoration from Zion of Tikkun International here in Jerusalem. And I'm so glad to be visiting with you today. I wanted to just talk a little bit about the parables of the kingdom in Matthew chapter 13. You know, our people, the Jewish people in the first century, believed that the Messiah was going to come and deliver them from Roman oppression. And one of the things that uh, has caused our people to not believe that Yeshua is the Messiah is the Roman impression was not lifted. As a matter of fact, the Roman oppression got worse and Jerusalem was destroyed. So they asked the question, how could Yeshua be the Messiah and how could we think that he brought the kingdom of God when the kingdom was supposed to come and be established on earth and all the oppressions and difficulties of the Jewish people were to be lifted, that we were to be fully delivered. Well, Yeshua uh, brings an unexpected stage of the kingdom of God. And in that unexpected stage, the kingdom comes and is a reality. And those great events of the end, where God would deliver Israel and bring his kingdom fully on earth, and by the way, that will still come, has not, uh, is not going to come right away, but there is going to be a stage of kingdom growth and spread through the gospel. So Yeshua begins in Matthew chapter 13, and he says it's going to spread through the preaching of the gospel, that is the sowing of seed. And then he tells them in, um, in verse 31, the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. It is the smallest of seed, yet when it grows, it is greater than the other herbs and becomes like a tree so that the birds are able to find their nests in it. And then he said, the kingdom of heaven is like yeast or hummets, which a woman took and hid in three measures of flour until it was all leavened. You know, until the Lord comes back, we are the instruments of spreading the kingdom of God. We spread it through the preaching of the gospel and through our witness and being involved in all of the spheres of life so that the very presence and power of God is influencing our workplace, it's influencing uh, civil government, it's influencing everything simply because we as followers of Yeshua are there. So the kingdom of God is growing throughout the earth and expanding. But that period of growth and expansion will come to an end. The Lord will return and when he returns, he will fully establish his kingdom. So I want to encourage you all today to know the reality of your part in spreading the kingdom of God and being leaven to the society around you and being uh, like uh, that tree, being part of that mustard seed that's becoming the largest tree. Because before the Lord comes back, the kingdom of God, the people of God, the body of believers is going to be the largest tree. It might not take over the whole earth until the Lord returns, but it's going to be large. And we are involved in investing in spreading the kingdom of God. May you be an instrument of that spread. Father, in the name of Yeshua, empower all of our listeners to be spreading the kingdom of God and that many great and wonderful things will take place in Yeshua's name. Amen.